G'day, so today I want to play a little bit more Thronefall. I have been playing this just not recording it, and I've been really enjoying it. It is hard. Uh, once you start to put in these challenges that I sort of like frivolously attempted on uh, on my first look at the game, they really throw down a challenge. So what we're looking at here is um, I've got two different like unachieved ones on the bottom of this, so we're going to look to do one or the other. Uh, so we've got one that we either need to be using the Light Spear and have the enemies have 75% more health or one where we can use whatever weapon we want, but they're going to be faster, they're going to deal more damage, um, but they don't have more health. I think what we're going to try for is the one with more health. This is tough. Uh, this one has really caught me how, uh, how hard these ones can really get into. So what we want to do... As you can see at this point, I have attempted these so many times that I've continued to level without progressing past level 3. One of the most handy things is that now I'm up to a point where you get 3 perks, which you don't from uh, from the get-go. And so what we want to do is attempt to find, um, find a way to just survive. And I think that the, the best strategy is hard to kill. So you can see here, I get more damage each night with this one my buildings do less damage but they don't lose health and i think that's the key thing here the walls and towers have 70 percent more health so they're harder to kill and i'm faster and i deal damage that does go up in correlation with other things so in theory if this is going up this is going up too so what we're going to attempt to do here is use me as the strong point of the team and I'm the reason uh, that we're going to win. And everyone else is basically just trying to hold ground until I can come and help. So, first thing we have to build is our base. Now, the other thing I want to do is make money. That is the, the key thing to how we're going to win here. I don't think that I can beat these guys on my own. So, straight off, we're going to go for one of these guys. And I'm going to go for the knights because, again, they'll be the hardest ones to kill. And what we're going to then do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to build a, um, is this a farm? And I'm going to make it have either an explosive trap. No, I'm actually going to go the improved plow. I'm going to go for the upgrade bonus of money. The thing that we're attempting to do here at the very start is basically make money um, as much as we can without... Um, so that in the at the end, without like having to build our defenses too much, so that in the end we're going to have a lot more money. So that's basically what we can start with. Now, one of the keys to this game is actually moving your troops. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take these troops and I'm going to put them all the way down here in this choke point, and then we're going to start. So what I can try and do is run through these guys, and you can see that I'm sort of hitting them for a little bit. The other good thing about using this spear is that if I do my secondary attack. I will um, heal myself and speed up my attack so we can like do a great job of sort of picking them picking them off. So I'm trying to help these guys just sort of so basically as long as I can keep these guys away from the farms that I can level up. We're in a really great position after the one round. Because we were able to spend most of our money on money. And next you can see that we've got guys just coming from the left. Now, in this case, I think that because they've got these um, battle ball things that just want to destroy um, to, the, to the town hall, we're going to have to build a fence. But that's the only expense that we're going to do this time uh, in relation to um, the fences. Everything else we're going to try and build here is going to be in relation to making money. So we're going to go two houses then and then again what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab these four guys I'm going to put them here then we're going to start the night and I'm going to go fight these guys on this side Again, what we can do is sort of run through them, really chip at their health. Okay, now what we're going to do is help our four guys and just see if we can work these down. And you can see that thanks to that bonus of our um, 
walls having more health too. This is staying up a, a nice long while. These guys aren't really going to attack me. I'm just sort of going to get hit in the fray. So basically what we want to do is just reduce their numbers. So if we can try and target down the same guys, um, that's ideal. Because obviously one a dude with one health is doing as much damage as a dude with 100 health. So I need to try and just focus down so that their overall damage is being lessened by there being less of them. And you can see eventually our knights will wander back from their base to, to come and help. Every night the... the uh, they will reset, so they'll go back to wherever they started. Right now. Okay, so we're going to get attacked from the north this time. Now, I think it is actually worth doing a quick one of these upgrades. There are a few things that are alright. This one, um, if I was using the ability a bit more, 100% so attack damage up increase is quite nice. Um, enemies deal damage to me, take part of that damage themselves, not bad. Um, the house is automatically upgrading, I don't think it's worth it. This one I actually think is the best one. So attack damage output is going up and I get more health. The reason that I think this is worthwhile is because um, of running through characters, like it said before, that goes up by um, in correlation to the amount of damage I do. So now as I run through guys, I'm going to be doing even more damage. And what we're going to do is you can see in the top left here, it goes from one to three um, coins per output on my farms. So the key thing here is that I'm going to have to keep all those guys at the top, which can be tricky. So we might actually end up losing those farms. On this south side, it's up to those four guys to try and stop those eight knights. So good luck to them. And all they've got to do really is slow them down. Hopefully we don't lose our farms, but... Basically me just running through them and then using my health to try and sort of stay healthy. The most important thing though is to not die. I need to try and keep alive. Because if I die then it's a 10 second cooldown. It's going to be a nightmare. They're all gone, so now let's see where these guys got to. Have they held the line? Yes, good job, fellas. Okay. So again, we're going to have guys attacking from the top. And we're going to have uh, guys attacking from, well, from the top left and top right. So this time it's going to be my soldiers are going to have to look after the guys in the top right. Uh, because they're doing that, I'm going to give them a wall. I'm going to give them a bit of safety. And I'm going to double down on my bet on them. And I'm going to upgrade the... Wait, how much more money do I need? I'm going to hold on to that because I want to buy this guy. And again, I'm going to go for the one that I think survives best, which is the Hunters. I'm go for this one. Again, I'm going to grab you now all eight of these guys. I'm going to send them to this choke point. And I'm going to fight. 32 guys that are going to show up here. Because I've already leveled up the tower once, that extra damage that I get, that sort of like extra 75%, definitely make this a little bit easier than it otherwise would be. Mainly those little bug looking guys that are going to cause me grief, they can, they can do some good damage to me, as you can see right there. What I can do is then just use my Lance's ability to heal back up. I want to die, so I'm going to just give it a second. Pulling back far enough too doesn't mean the town hall does come in to help too.
Alright, guys at the top did a great job, so we get all of our money from our two farms up here. Alright, the attack is now coming from the south, from this side. Okay, those balls here can be quite dangerous. So again, we're going to build a fence and counter them. Uh, we've got 16 more gold to spend. So let's... Well, we won't do those because they're single point gains. Um, what we will do is... Let's get ourselves the two mines. Uh, and then let's build more of our houses. Spending two gold on that house actually would only get me two more gold, whereas if I go up here, sorry, that uh, would get me one more gold, whereas if I go up here, that'll get me two more gold. Those two. Okay. So tricky thing here is where do we want our where do we want our guys to be standing in order that they don't get killed by the balls? It sort of means that I've got to be the one that's trying to get them down. I've got no support towers yet, I haven't built any towers at all. So I'm gonna have to try and Basically, I can get in there and kill them quick. I take a shot and damage, but... Much happier with that than either wiping out all of my soldiers. There I go. I don't like all the walls taking a shot. So you can see the size of the, the hit. So I think this is the fifth guy here. So he's the last one. And we've held the wall. Alright, so we've got 12 guys coming from the top left. They're all, their only job is to try and kill me. So I don't have to worry about them too much. Um, in that I can probably take them out pretty good. We're going to upgrade this guy. Um, let's get... This farm feels real dangerous. Actually, I think there's a third farm at the top that I haven't gone for. So let's go back up this way. Okay, um, let's put in one support tower for this wall. Stack them a bit. Probably actually could have most saved money there. Could have just built... That cost me eight to upgrade. I could have built these guys and those guys, and that would have cost me eight as well, and I would have got eight guys as opposed to the four I just got. Okay, so... Who now is going to grab all 16 of these guys? You're going to put them in that same spot. Now, the trickiest thing here is that those archers, that's a lot of archers. Um, the problem that these 12 guys at the top would do is if I let them just sort of run through, they would avoid everything to try and kill me, but they would go the most direct route. So they would wipe out those three farms because those farms would be between where they are and where I would be standing. You can see there's only seven of these and they are coming real quick. It was seven, wasn't it? That's obviously it was more than that, and I've discounted for these are the last five alive now. Okay. So, with our run through ability, we can hopefully make some quick work of the archers, because this archer army here would be a real pain. But when I can go. Not so bad. Okay, so continuing on our goal of making money. Now I've got 12 guys coming down the bottom here. We'll build... Actually, the best way to make money is probably the investment on going 20 to upgrade this to level 3. And again, I don't think that 
any of those are worth it versus me just being even killed. And with that upgrade, what I can do is I can go to these guys and I can take them from three gold to eight. So I think that's definitely worth it. Just want to be careful of how much money I'm using. Twelve. This will take me to seven. I don't want to do that yet. I think it is going to be worthwhile having um, these guys built. So again, I'm just going to go the ones that I think are hardest to kill. I actually don't think I even need to... I think I can take care of all of that. It's those those balls and they're just going to explode anyway. So I'm going to leave those defenders where they're standing inside the walls. And I will stand these guys right there. I've got five left. So again, let's go around here. Go to the mine. The other thing with the mines that I forget that I can do is you can run into a mine and that'll let you jump to, to a new location. Actually, I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to make them go stand up here. I'm going to get them right in the way of these guys. Be a nuisance to them. But I do so much damage now that even these ogres are pretty easy work for me. If, if the focus of the other guys is just to sort of pick on these archers, I'm great. If I can take these guys out. Done. Alright, so those three are toast. We just need to make sure I can help these guys take out the... Um, these archers are going to pester them, and those ogres. I think most importantly we'll get rid of the archers because they're so easy to kill. And then I can just run these two guys in circles. Done. A lot of money. Okay, so we're now going to be attacked on three different fronts. So, again, we are working on trying to up our money. We are getting the exploding balls coming into play, too, and ogres. So, I'm going to have to take care of the, the top left on my own, I think. Um, think about what I want to get spend money on here. That top line, I think I should be able to take care of without needing any more defenses. There's nothing coming on that bottom side, but we will upgrade both of these guys to their second level. Um, can also, because I'm not going to be with them, can also upgrade that fence. And this fence. Part of this is just, I'm still spending money because the more money I have, the more money I can spend at the end. So we're going to go the improved farm. And we'll put in more houses. Or one house upgraded twice. Because the longer I can go where all of my money is being spent on things that are going to give me back money, it means the more money I'll have at the very end to build towers, upgrade towers, and have a decent chance there. So, these guys here, we're going to put all of you behind this fence. These guys here. All of you. Find this fence. And I am going to go... Now, probably the top right is actually the hardest one. They've got three ogres, whereas... I've only got two guys. And the bottom only have two as well. So hopefully they don't do too bad.
Again, you can see how fast I can work down the, the group. So if all they can have to do is hold the line until uh, I'm there. I do really want to save my um, farms. Have a look at our money. A lot of money. What wave are we on? Nine. So we've still got a long time. Row. Alright, so we've got 35 knights, three different directions. Um, I guess the first question is how much more money can I spend on upgrading things that make me money? Because I have a lot of money. So let's make sure that we're cemented in a place where we're going to have as much money as possible. It is still early days being round 9, so we can, as long as we can sort of survive this one round. I mean, I've got a lot of money anyway still to spend. Um, we should have a lot of money to spend on defenses. So I think that's everything. I think I've got all the houses. Oh, one more house over here. Other house. So that's all the houses. Um, some fences and some towers to build. Okay, so who am I going to put where? I think I'm going to defend the south. Um, so let's take... Try and up the numbers of guys that we've got. So if we go 16 points to here, um, and then 16 points to here, then what we'll do is we'll just bring in this wall and this tower. Take all of you guys. Stand you here. Kind of the idea with this actually is that um, potentially because they sort of spawn one guy at a time, I might actually be able to choke them with the amount of guys that I've got. So, for example, if we put all my guys here, good luck to them getting past that. And if they're going to be coming one at a time, they can really get beat up. That does make me wonder if I should push these guys at the top even further back into Ray. Let's just do that. Put these guys all the way there. Then I'll stand at a similar spot in the middle. Because we don't have much in the way of our defenses. Once they make it past that sort of initial um, line, it's hard to tell um, which side I'm going to be better off moving to. I think possibly the north, because the firstly there's more... Um, I've got more farms at risk up there. You can see how long I've sort of got to focus on one guy before the next one shows up. So there is that sort of hope that... If you've got, if the other guys have that much time, they might be able to knock them out. I possibly should have spent more money upgrading the archers, having 12 over the soldiers, um, so they probably could hit them at longer range. Luckily too though, these guys spawn about as fast as I can kill them, so at the point where I kill one and there's not one respawned, I know I've got the 35. There we go. So you can see those guys are still miles away from the base, so they're doing really well. See how our buddies at the top are doing. We can 
and save that farm. Looks like we're going to. Nicely done. We are making bank. Okay, so this is now round 10. Dominantly going to get attacked from the left. Um, so firstly, we obviously want to get this fence upgraded. We also want to then put in our towers for this, because now all we're doing is offense. Um, or rather defense, we're not building money. But there are a lot of good upgrades that you can get in towers if you can upgrade them three times, which I rarely get to do. And so hopefully what we're, um, I've done here is I've made enough money that we can really um, go wild with our upgrades. So definitely I also want to get these spent. See how much I'm using my troops, so having them all the way up to level 3 is certainly going to be worthwhile. Um, I feel like I've got to stand at the top with this one. I think that of these 25 guys are going to just try and kill me. I think I've got to sort of make sure that they're not going to come down and destroy the rest of the town. So I've got to be accountable for these guys. But it does mean that all... Um, of my other troops can go stand on this other side and just really um, take control. I'm just basically just buying things that I know I'm going to want at some point. Which is everything. I haven't ever, obviously you can see, I've never successfully completed this, um, this challenge. So the idea is that we are, um, are attempting to do this for the first time. So these guys, I'm going to plant... Um, I just the sound of them just marching in a circle around me. I think I'm going to plant these guys here. I'm going to take these guys. them here. We might revise this a little bit, but I'm going to take guys off the edge of this one. Over here as well. Alright, and I'll try and be there as soon as I can, fellas. I suppose I could probably counting to 25 with these guys, but you see how fast they're now spawning that I can easily guess at the point that I'm close to done. Last thing I want to do is die. Great. Now, I've lost one tower. But I haven't lost uh, the farm. It's lovely. Now I gotta be the one that gets rid of all the archers, because they are gonna just cause grief to my. Like it's done. Knight survived. Now there are 14 ogres coming in the north on this next one. And there are 35 things attempting to destroy, uh, destroy fences down the bottom. So. Let's have a quick look at what we want to be doing. 85 gold. This damages and slows down fast enemies, so let's um do that to them. This is where we can now start to upgrade these guys and have a look at what options we've got. While shooting regular allies, this tower also pours boiling oil onto nearby enemies. Enemies hit by oil suffer great damage. Now, is that close enough to the wall that he can actually hit him over the wall? If so, then absolutely. And do a similar 
positive upgrade with this guy. It now has an increased range. It shoots very powerful projectiles at a low rate of fire, focus siege engines, and other large enemies. I'm going to go with that one for that, and then it'll be this guy that I want to go for the long range. So, starting with those three, and also need to upgrade these two walls, but I'm not going to do that yet. Um, what I'm going to do is I want to upgrade towers on this side too. Do those two on the wall as hot oil. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab all of these guys. Put them here. I'm going to grab all of these guys. We're going to put them I'll take care of the 14 ogres at the top. Oh. A couple guys to help. I can take down one of these guys pretty quick, but 14 is still a lot of them. stand on the side of the fence and just sort of poke at him. You can see they can break down those and again my goal is to save save my precious farms. At least these are real hard to kill towers. Not my farms. That are really hard to take down tower. They weren't they weren't kidding on that one. Now you can see the value in those hard to take down towers. And I think that with that in mind, we want all three of these towers to be in that category. This is the final wave, isn't it? So I mean, I can't... I've got to be careful where I bet the farm here. You can see there are 13 ogres coming in this bottom, bottom column, along with 10... Um, of the balls. So I think that that's a real danger zone, that one. Firstly though, I want, I do want these guys to all be really hard to kill. I want them to hold this line that basically the line of um, this wall is going to be held by these three guys just sort of like not going down. Um, it makes it harder to pull these guys off the wall because there's two different lines of guys that are going to be coming. I think our problem is, is these guys down the bottom. There's a lot of guys down there, so I'm going to have to take care of that. Um, don't know what to do for the north, though, because there's 35 of those like wild animal things that are going to cause me endless grief. I think this guy doing two damage and possibly being where they head up to. You could survive for a little while. Um, I think I've got to claim all of these guys. Go up top. So I miss putting one tower in the back there, but... I feel like I'm making a mistake in that north north set. No. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. So if I um sort of selected the base, it would um give me everyone from the base. 
No, I'm just going to take a handful of you guys. You. There. Mainly archers. And in fact, you guys... I'm going to put over here, because I want you to try and get those catapults out. Once once that's dead, when you spawn, you'll come through and you'll go back up that way anyway, so... That's okay. I think... I, I've... This is the, one of the hardest things to do, this uh, final level. It, it, uh, it escalates. The biggest problem too is you can see how slowly they spawn. Like, come on, I need to go somewhere else. Just send me everyone as fast as you can. Like, I can't tell when I've, uh... I've already can declare victory here because it's... Such a slow grade. On the other hand, like, this could possibly really help my, uh, my towers and everyone. But they're gonna get an approach. Like, you can see how badly damaged that ogre is on the bottom left. Like, that's great work. Starting to see a few more at once. And we haven't seen any of the balls yet, and they're going to be one of the big things here. And it's right, like at any point where I can sort of go, like, well, I've really dominated this section down here, maybe I can run. Uh, no, it's those balls coming through, and I'm pretty sure I had 10 coming through on uh, on this side. I do like being here that I can see what's going on to my left, and sort of have confidence that they're doing pretty well. But you can see that the fact that they're, the fact that the farm's still standing, if nothing else, is, uh, is a pretty good reassurance that they've held their line. Yeah, they're doing... Good. All right, here come the balls, and here comes the horde of ogres. They've, you can see they've just dropped all of those ogres on me at once. And this is where this escalates. I need to get rid of that ball. Guys, don't come and help me. Go help your own sides. <laughs> At least the balls will continue to destroy things that, like, like the, that wall that was already there. Alright, I'm confident to say that I could probably leave that side. Let's go take care of this side that had little to no defenses. And if you've done that well, fellas, that you've pretty much... Wow, bravo. How's the north looking? Well, let me just help clean up the south a little bit. I can't believe how many farms I've still got standing. Who's left alive? What are we fighting it still? Wow. And that is the value of having... of focusing on getting your money built. And so I think that the best strategy for this game genuinely is to, um... Uh, build a, ha uh, like, a barracks and then just move those guys around until you reach a point where you're, uh, really struggling. That's not bad. I really need a fourth perk ability. No towers. I mean, I reckon I could have been... Oh, was the towers actually used as walls down the bottom here. That was probably my own thing. Bad.
And there we go. So that's, uh, that's how we do that one. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.